Hey YouTube, this is Joe. Can a person plant tomatoes in the fall? So, so here's, here's my dilemma. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, can somebody plant their tomatoes in the fall for the following spring? Um, so every, every fall, late fall, I'll take the tomatoes and I will, you know, you, you break it apart and you pull the seeds out and you, you put them in the cup of water and you let them do the fermenting to kind of prepare the seeds and then you dry the seeds and then you store the seeds. You try to store them in a spot where you won't lose them. And, and it seems like it, it's lots and lots and lots of steps. Um, and so, I'm wondering, can, can, I, can, I, can I skip some of those steps? So this past year, I grew 80-ish uh, Roma tomatoes. And I would say, honestly, about 20, 20 of them were just volunteers. Uh, you'd, you'd be working in the garden, and you'd just find one, and you'd put it in the straight row. So my question is, can I just bypass the seed-saving stage and can I just go ahead and put them in the ground now? Um, so here's my experiment. Dug a hole. Tried not to put my shadow in the way. So I dug a hole. And then I laid my compost down under it. And then I have spread tomatoes out across that hole. I know these tomatoes are, are fermenting as we speak right now. They, they're left over. They've been, in a, they've been in my bin here and just stinking my garage up. And so my question is, will this work? So I've not read books on this. I've not really seen anybody else that does this. Um, but what I'm going to do is I've got about three or four inches of compost underneath. I'm going to lay another three or four inches of compost over that. I'm going to use that white feed sack to kind of reflect sunlight, uh, keep them from warming up right now. Uh, ground temperature is definitely dropping. And then I'm going to kind of cover it loosely in dirt so I can still locate it. And then in the spring, um, when it's garden prep time, I'm going to uncover it. It is a small enough area that I could put a small box over the top of it uh, to kind of protect it from, you know, the late freezes. So my question is, has anybody done this? Um, can you direct me to a video where someone has had success at this? Um, if not, I'm going to call it the Joe method, <laughs> the Youngblood Family Farm method, because I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing most of the time and uh, and you guys are stuck with it if you're watching but will this work that's my question so, so thanks for joining me um, give me some feedback here um, if you think this is foolish let me know if you think that this could work let me know um, but I've been trying to start seeds in my cold barn with heat mats and, and lights and it seems to me like uh in this in this world god made it made it a little bit easier than i'm trying to make it i'm trying to come up with all these flashy methods and i think that there should be a, a simpler way to do this so um yeah thanks for sharing your time with me and i hope you have a great fall here bye now